Hey guys, have you ever been working inside your PDM administration tool and forgot or lost the admin password? This Q-tip is for you. So let's say that you're working inside your vault and you try the password that you're pretty sure it used to be and you see the error message that the entered username or password is incorrect. Don't panic, we can get through this. Leave this box open and what we wanna do is go to the archive server configuration tool. And you want to do this from the server, not from a client, because the archive server configuration tool won't be installed on any of the clients. You can either click it here or you can do the search like I just did. From here, if I'm looking at the top level, I've got five vaults that are in here, but there's two different admin passwords, believe it or not. There's the default password for the admin, and then there's the vault specific password. So I can have a different admin password for each one of my vaults. If I go to tools and default settings, this is the default password for any new vaults that you create, unless you create one with a specific password. So you can configure PDM so that you have the same administrator password across all vaults. If I have a vault specific password that I want to change, I right click on the vault itself, go to properties, and then go to login. And this is where I would change the password. If you know the current password, then you would be able to change it here just by entering the current password and then entering a new password and confirming it. Since we don't know it, then we have to go about things a little bit differently. Let's click cancel here and cancel here. Minimize that. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. And I would always recommend that you back up your database and back up the server before doing this because we have to go into the registry editor. I've already got the registry editor going. You're going to want to navigate to the H key local machine, Hive, Software, Key, SolidWorks, Applications, PDMworks Enterprise. And then if we slide down under archive server and go to Kinesio users, this admin user is the default admin user. If I then go down to vaults and expand EPDM, which is the vault I'm interested in changing the password for, and then go down to Kinesio users there, this admin is the vault specific admin for the underscore EPDM vault. If I then delete, I'm gonna click yes, and now I've deleted the admin user for this EPDM vault. Now, if I were to try to go back over here, it's not going to do anything for me because there is no admin user in this vault right now. Let's go back to the PDM archive server configuration tool. Go back to the specific vault we're wanting to change the password for. Right click properties, log in, and now you see it is set to use default admin user. This is checked. Let's uncheck that. And now it's gonna ask for a new password. So we just put in a new password. Confirm it and click okay. Once we click apply and we click OK, go back over to the PDM administration tool and log in using the new password we just created. And then we're in. Hopefully this Q-tip has been helpful for you, a little bit eye-opening. Believe in the Q.